Over the last 20 years at Constlab, we've built over a thousand engine benches. We've developed an expertise in taking all of the latest and greatest technologies from the vehicle and making them accessible to you and to your students in your classroom. Today I want to show you an example of that. And this is one. This engine bench is a 2013 Chevrolet Equinox. Gasoline direct injection. It's not even brand new. This one's been in service for a couple years now. And what these engine benches can do for you and for your school is to allow ease of access. We remove the barriers to the students. We make it easier for them to understand all of these complex technologies. So we take all the systems from the car. We've got the instrument cluster, the HVAC unit, the controls for the HVAC. We have the entire heating, ventilation and air conditioning system that is easily accessible and now we can see uh, the mode doors and everything moving. We have inserted clear tubes into the air conditioning system. Yet we've retained so much of the functionality of the car because on modern vehicles where we've got numerous control modules throughout the system, we've included them. So we have computers all over the bench. We've got the ABS control module. We've got another control module. I don't even know what one it is. But we have that whole multiplex network from the vehicle. Of course, we've got the engine and all of its components that we're providing access to to make it easier. We have the charging system complete, the starting system. We've inserted, in this case, a um, sight glass for the cooling system. And you can see that we've made it safe. We've put protective covers over the drive belt, over the radiator fan, and everything is protected so you can let your students explore and learn at their own pace. We've integrated a fuel cell here with the OE fuel pump and sending unit, so your fuel gauge still works. And we've also got the full evaporative emission system here, so you can teach all your EVAP training. So let's fire it up and see what we can do. Now let's turn the air conditioning on and see what happens. If we look over here, we can see the refrigerant starting to move through the clear tubes, get to the evaporator, and we're going to start getting cold air coming out of here. Now, we've got the data link connector here. Next step is I'm going to show you what we can do with the scan tool. So we have the same access with the scan tool to all the data that you do on the vehicle. Now, from an instructor standpoint, we can go a lot farther because we have here a tablet computer and we can plug it in to the fault box. And this fault box allows us to insert multiple different faults. And they're not just open circuits, they're also variable faults. So using the laptop or the tablet computer, we can insert these faults, variable, intermittent, open circuits, vary the different signals. So I'm gonna fire the engine up. Everything's good, everything's good on the scan tool. Here we're going to create a couple different faults. So, if we listen, we can hear some differences in how the engine is running. There we've got a misfire. Now we're going to create some other faults. Now the engine is stalled. Students can use either the multimeter or they can use an oscilloscope and they can take measurements directly here for the various signals that they might need to test. So to find out more about Constlab engine benches, you can look at constlab.com or you can find us on Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn. Thanks for watching.